is maybe they're a little bit jet lagged, even though they had like three weeks of time to get over the jet lag. But some people struggle. It happens as they were playing uh, with Strembitsky is another player we potentially will see later on when it comes to NA. Um, let's actually listen to this a little bit. Oh, yeah. I actually want to hear a little bit more of their comms because, uh, again, Eclipse on the orange side is definitely, like, hands down going to be the favorite over the course of probably the entire season, probably all the way into Oculus Connect 6 coming up, uh, you know, later on this year. They are hands down one of the best teams in the world. They are one of the best, they, actually, no, they are the best jousting team in the world as well, so they are generally always going to win those initial exchanges, and they are the fastest moving team as well at the same point. So they're definitely a fantastic team and, and a great team to really challenge yourself and potentially make a name for yourself out of. Well, you said they were the fastest moving the team. They weren't quite fast enough to actually get that possession just then having to wait until it was tossed back through the tunnel to be able to take it back for themselves. But they are moving closer to their goal. And of course, Simeon, one of the loudest players in, uh, in Echo Arena and VR in general. Even when, when Onward's playing, you can hear him screaming for some reason somewhere else around the world. But this, this is a, a, such a good team. They're very smart. And I talked about a lot when we were uh, covering the European games that they will hold on to the disc when they have a lead. They will play time. They will play smart. They will not miss passes. And they will consistently just do this over and over and over again until you make a mistake on the defense. But at the moment, any plus ultra are definitely sticking it to them. I mean, we're a minute and 20 in, and we have yet to see a score. And of course, just as I say it, like the commentators <laughs> that exist, they land a three-pointer. Of course. You've been doing that pretty consistently. Today. I will not win the lottery tonight. <laughs> Did you sign up for the lottery? Nope. <laughs> well, there you go. But, you know, of course, Eclipse, they're living up to what we were, well, at least what you're expecting of them there, just getting that three points straight in. Well, I say straight in, it wasn't super fast. They did, uh, you know, cost some time, but being the first goal of the series, they're now comfortably ahead. Means that any plus ultra, they're going to either have to get two two pointers or get a three pointer to actually be at least on par with them. It's not going directly for the initial exchange. Again, trying to force out the misplays. You can see immediately stolen out by Lemming. Look at that. He's by himself against two. He steals the disc away. He gets the clear into the enemy's uh, field. And you might even see a score come through, but that's going to be Ender. No game being played today as he grabs the disc out of the air, prevents the three-pointer from coming in yet again. And now it's going to be Simeon to lead the charge. And again, Ender. Yeah, and you were saying earlier about how Afantara is the, the best goalkeeper. I think he may have a little bit of a threat. How dare you say that? that title. <laughs> Well, I don't know. We just saw two goals in a row be defended, and I'm like, does any plus ultra seem they they know what they to expect, you know? And again, not being allowed to get into that goal, they know what Eclipse are going for, and they're doing well to actually ensure they're in the right position to prevent them from capitalizing on their strategies. Oh, they get a great clear. Uh, I'm actually going to a little bit overshoot the actual disc as we picked back up here for the orange side of Eclipse. Going to be thrown down towards the lower end side of the arena. Going to be picked back up by the boys in orange, and this should be a three-pointer, if not two. And it will be two as Lemmy does secure another couple points on the board. And Eclipse now up 5-0 to zero as we hit that halfway point here in our first round. Yeah, pretty much exactly halfway, and now I need plus ultra. I've got a little bit more of a challenge on the cards to catch up with Eclipse. Do you think... They'll be able to do it at all? Do you think Eclipse will go this? Depends. You want my caster answer or my, <laughs> my real answer? Let's go for the real answer. Yeah, no, no, no way. It's not happening. <laughs> if, if Eclipse lose this, I'll be very disappointed because they have proven time and time and time again, even at the invitation on Leicester, that they are the best team. These three players have been fantastic. I mean, they had a little bit of a different roster. I Shiny, who uh, played Overwatch and then did eventually go on to coach a little bit more, was originally on this roster where they did win uh, the first o Oculus Connect. Um, but. Simeon's come in. He's been fantastic for the team. Lemmy and Palador are still as good as ever, and we've un been unable to really see any teams challenge out against them. We saw Gravity try to, but then once Eclipse started to use their standard kind of strategy against them, there was just no overturning them. Yeah, I like that. He was sort of waiting to actually have that pass, but ended up receiving a stun. It didn't quite go the way that Eclipse wanted. Now it's just bouncing off these walls, waiting for it to be picked up once again. Now going into possession of any plus Ultra. But they are getting closer and closer to their goal, so it's going to be the job of Eclipse here to, well, take it straight off them as they just did. And Simmon gets the full clear across the entire arena. We will see on the minimap the entire side of any plus ultra will better retreat back in time and retrieve it. And now again, minute 30 left to go. We're going to throw it directly in the hands of Palador, who's going to probably just try to drag the timeout. As long as they consistently pass away over and over again, now Lemmy's going to get clear. He might even look for a shot or may just try to stall for time. But hey, he's going to answer the question, get another two points on the board, and now lengthen the lead to seven. Giving it a cheeky little swing before I went as well. You love to see, see those little moves before it goes in. You're such a fan. You like it when they do the little. Uh, I wish they had lake sensors. 
Leg senses. Yeah, because they can throw it like between they the can, legs. They can like kick it. They can like do a backflip. Really tough. I mean, they're in. They're always doing a backflip. It's zero gravity. Yeah, but they can do a real backflip. <laughs> and you get. I don't know. I feel like you're really destined to break something if you do a backflip. There is actually a player uh, who's broken his wrist twice playing Echo Arena. Doing he, backflips? No. Oh, <laughs> punched a wall on accident twice. <laughs> Well, you know, that's his fault. <laughs> I just got weak wrists, you know, drink your milk. Get that vitamin C. <laughs> vitamin C, you mean calcium? Yeah, exactly. Vitamin calcium. <laughs> Love that vitamin. But now we're just getting to one minute on the clock. Any plus ultra finally managed to get their first points on the board. But it is only two after getting that bounce shot. So they've still got five to get in the next minute if they want to catch up with Eclipse. All right, I want, to, I want to see them show what I've been talking about since the European show of just holding the disc and dragging out the time. Because it's so frustrating. If you're on the side of any plus ultra, you got to get aggressive. you got to send all three players after the disc and hope you can force them to miss a pass at the same time. You're leaving your goal completely open. So let's see what route they do go here. They have, you mean they have the time to do it, to come back from this. But will they be able to actually make it happen? Look, the sea, we don't see Paldor throw it immediately. He realizes they're not getting... Aggressive to go directly to him. A little bit of a missed pass does happen, but both players are going to regroup, steal it back yet again, and get the pass back out to Simeon. I like the, the little twirl there, and actually Palador getting, uh, adding another three points there, but Palador getting stunned out just too late, so the pass had already been done, and then, of course, being able to be shot by Simeon straight into the gulf, that three points, which means in this next 46 seconds, any plus ultra have got an even bigger mountain to climb. I will give respect to the any plus boys. I think they realize they have to be super aggressive, which is why no one was in the goal. So they're trying to force something to happen and realizing, you know, it's high risk, uh, high reward. But at the same time, if they if they misstep it, they will get scored on. But they realize they have to do something now. Now eight points behind. I, I think they, they realize that this one's probably going to be over at this rate. Oh, see, they're just making a pass, moving towards that goal. But of course, it's pretty heavily guarded by Eclipse there. Yeah, being completely prevented from actually entering into the goal. Yeah, 25 seconds left to go. And you can see there's skirmishing still find each other. It's going to pass the disc yet again. Now sub 20 seconds and eight points is the difference. The downtown shot comes through and bounces off the backboard in the wrong direction. But it doesn't matter. Any plus ultra will fall here in the first round of, I, I believe, I actually don't, wanna, don't know what round of the Swiss format we're in at the moment between these two teams. And I actually don't know the score between them either. Maybe we can look it up really quickly while you have some time. <laughs> well, we got about one second. There you go. Did you look it up yet? Yep. Did you look it up? I did. Yeah. Yep. Yep. It says, come back later. <laughs> I love that round. It's my favorite round. The come back li later round? Okay, so at the moment, <laughs> Kangaroos 2-0, Eclipse are 2-0, Any Plus Ultra 2-0. So we're into the third round. And Kangaroos at G Team Joker's 2-0, Squid's 2-0. So we have a lot of teams currently sitting there. Curious to see if it's going to maintain that kind of route, though, if actually Eclipse and Kangaroos can meet. If they meet in the next game, I actually hope that's the game we're going to cover because that's going to be a battle uh, for, for basically first place. Yeah, it's going to be a big uh, power battle <laughs> for pride. But right now, it's going to be a battle for any plus ultra to actually get their name on the board here and not be kicked further down the standings. Please tell me you know where their name comes from. I actually recognize it, but I don't know what from. I don't know if that makes me a terrible person. What makes you not a weeb? Oh, okay. Well, I can live with that. I hear academia. No. Don't you mean Bokono Hero Academia? <laughs> Is that not what it's called? Is that not the actual so, name? So you said you're not a weeb, and then you I've, just said I've the actually Japanese never version. seen. I've never seen the anime mm. or read the manga. I've never seen anything to do with it. Mm -hmm. Well, you're missing out on a fantastic show. And if you guys aren't joining <laughs> us and you're watching the VOD, you missed out on a fantastic match live. As Eclipse currently has the lead at 1-0 and are one step closer from pulling off a 3-0 scoreline over the course of today's matches. I think they still have a couple more rounds to play after that, actually. 17 teams signed up, so I actually don't know how many rounds they have to play in general when it comes to this. I'm going to try to... Maybe it's five. According to the website, it's five, so they'll be playing five rounds out. Oh, man. Oh, that's a three-pointer. Oh, straight in. That's a pretty <laughs> definitive, well, you know, decisive start by Eclipse there. Eight seconds and three points. That's not that's not bad. That's not a bad shout. Yeah, especially as some of the series that we did see today, you know, it would take quite a while for the first goal to be made. But clips, they're not hanging around. Well, the sun might be setting here. Wait, that doesn't make sense because they're an eclipse. The moon might be no. Hmm. 
extra thoughts before I start talking. <laughs> now, any plus ultra gonna have control? We're not seeing Eclipse be as aggressive as some other teams we had happen in Europe. They're actually being more respectful, playing a kind of standard game. I think, I think Eclipse are the are is one of those teams that will play like super standard and will play respectful no matter what. We don't typically see them ever try to not necessarily BM, but take a 20 plus lead uh, in score. Like they will just play a standard game when they realize they're super far ahead. They'll drag out time. They play every match. I think it's the best way to describe them. They'll play every match as if it was a grand final of a tournament. Yeah, that's a really important thing to do is to be able to respect the opponent and not be too cocky. But it also means when you play kind of a more standard game that you can judge what the how the enemy is playing and their play style and actually be able to adapt to that and uh, not necessarily be stuck in one specific play style. That's actually a good point considering Clips are generally the one to set the play style, but the thing is they play it so well that when teams finally learn to adapt to it, they're already prepared to what to do next. And hey, if you give Simmon an angle, he'll hit the shot. That's another three-pointer coming in for him. Just 33 seconds just about played, and we already have eight points on the scoreline here between the two teams. Yeah, at least any plus ultra actually do have two of the points that are on the board. So it is, you know, especially with four and a half minutes left to go, it is a little bit closer. There's maybe a bit more of a chance for them. They do have the joust advantage in this next round coming in. So this could be time for them to catch maybe a little bit up with Eclipse. I think they've been spending more time in the launch tubes than actually playing out this second round. There we go. So now Brennan going to actually like this play. It's going to be a long shot, but directly into the hands of Paladore. He could have thrown it off towards his right-hand side. He would have had, I think, Ender there to, to pick up the actual disc. And now on the attack again, and guess what? Another shot going to be given open. And Eclipse going to drain another three-pointer here. Kobe comes through. And now it's 9-2. to two. Yeah, this time by Lemming, though, so... Simeon, if he's keeping a little tally of all the three-pointers he's getting, he can't actually add that one to his repertoire. I think he's got more enough in the bank. I think he'll be fine <laughs> with it. As long as they pick up the win. I, I want to say this is maybe a little bit of a different-looking team than we had last week. I was actually surprised to see that Kangaroos were able to beat them. I mean, Leverage, Sealable Bag, is Trambitsky, I mean, like, they're, they're good players. They've played since last season, but no team in North America has been able to dethrone uh, the Kings of Echo Arena out of Eclipse. And even Strabitsky was playing with Lemmin and Palador and Simeon uh, and Katowice just a few weeks ago in the uh, the show match that happened on Echo Combat. And they did win that as well. So kind of undefeated in general. But can they stay undefeated here today? Oh my god, they made that too. I would have just <laughs> got up and walked away. Well, it was getting closer and closer to the goal. We're getting a stun out there. But the thing is, Eclipse all coming up to uh, back up their players here. So they're actually all together and able to get that really easy slam dunk in the end, even though it looked for a little bit there that any plus ultra may be able to get possession of the disc and send it down the other end of the field. But it just wasn't to be. <laughs> I'm not mistaken. Was that Lemming pulled off a 1v2, stunned both players? That should just should not happen. You shouldn't <laughs> both lose. Like, you shouldn't lose a, a 2v1. You just go like this. With, yeah, arms out in two different directions. I mean, if that's how you fight, I'm confident in taking you into, <laughs> uh, taking you like at a, a dark alley and seeing who wins the fisty cup battle. <laughs> oh man, I'm tiny compared to you. I'm 11 inches shorter than you. You, you could kill me. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa! Don't give away my plans. Uh, looks like we're gonna have a reset here. As seems going back into the launch tubes. Not sure what happened there, but I'm just gonna go for the quick, uh, quick fix. And we should be uh, back into this one. But Eclipse have such a massive lead that they're really showing no signs of stopping, especially since any plus ultra are giving them so many actual shots, so many opportunities to hit these three pointers, which is why they've had such a, a phenomenal lead so far in game two. Yeah, and I really like that we have seen them sort of be there for each other to, to back them all up. Um, so, you know, if one of them gets in trouble and they it, it looks like it's not going to work out in their favor then you know the rest of the team they will be there to help them out with the situation be able to gain possession once again and we saw that in the the last round when they actually managed to take that goal even though it was in that 1v2 sort of situation Blue team ready. yeah and you know it seems like any plus ultra are playing like the last minute of the last game where they're just being super aggressive defensively they're not playing more of a standard match which is allowed for such the big difference that we do have. I mean, it's, what, nine points now between the two once Eclipse does get that final shot in, um, you know, get t the time set directly where it was exactly at. I don't know if I agree with it. I mean, it's kind of costing them a lot of opportunities. It's it's kind of giving Eclipse a bigger lead than they necessarily should have. No. Count got down. Four, three, two, one. <laughs> 
I think I could be that guy. No, you don't look so convinced. I didn't say anything. <laughs> I can see your face. And... Bloop. There we go. Damn it, Ender. Self, self goal. <laughs> um. It's funny he's named Ender. Considering the best way to explain this game is like, have you ever seen Ender's game? I have not, but I did catch your reference that you made earlier. Have you? Not seen Ender's game or My Hero Academia. <laughs> there, there's do you, two, do you live under a rock? There's two pieces of media that are frequently associated with one another. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> Hello, plus Ultra. Ender's game. Ender, clearly. This is, <laughs> I mean, obviously. This is that one situation that you, you know, should have solved one of those two things. <laughs> the one time it comes up. I'm not right. cultured like you, Jason. <laughs> it's kind of, it's fine. You know, not everyone can be cult as cultured as an American like me. <laughs> to be fair, you're an American living in Europe. That's pretty cool, too. <laughs> I think that's the nicest thing you've ever said to me. Aww. I'll take it. Yeah, you should. And you know what? Someone's gonna have, is going to have to take this disc, and it's going to be Sim. Oh, no, it's got to be Sim. It's going to be Ender, who's actually going to... I wonder if they're, st uh, they're actually still playing this out. I was wondering, because they were playing a little bit awkwardly as he's actually able to juke away from Simeon there. You can see Powder going to be holding the back line. And actually, it wasn't Powder. Uh, it was Lemming. And the long shot comes through. It's not going to be landing just yet. And the defenders should be able to get there in time and just swat it away again. It's just a quick swat. They're actually not trying to throw it downfield. They're trying to change the trajectory so the people at any plus ultra who were coming won't be able to adapt in time and make those micro movements they need to. And this might be actual two points coming through. Ooh, it's snatched away. So it's going back down the other end of the field, being cleared straight through the tunnel there. And now Clips are going to have to be chasing it down, not quite making the goal, although that would have been pretty cool to have seen that. So it's not actually currently in possession of anyone. We're going to have these races back to the disc. Of Three course, points. Clips. There you go. Wow, you didn't curse at that time. They don't miss. <laughs> They, they're, they, 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 I can confidently say they just don't miss their shots. Now that's when, in the next round, they're going to miss. <laughs> if they do, you have to shave your head. <laughs> no! <laughs> what is your... Okay, you don't have to, but you might wake up in the middle of the night and it might have blade, like uh, clippers and you might just do it anyways. Please don't break into my head. <laughs> I don't even know what room you're in. <laughs> Three seconds left to go and Eclipse is going to be again on the attack hero. Technically, they're on defense, but I'm actually going to go back on the attack and any plus ultra need to make something happened two minutes left to go and they're down 12 points we're almost going to hit the mercy rule yet again here if the eclipse keep this pace up yeah if they're not careful we could get there but i don't think well it could happen within two minutes but i don't think it is going to the important thing here is that any plus ultra don't allow the disc to stay in the possession of eclipse just like that it can be so easy for them to get it into this unguarded goal just now all three players struggling to actually get the disc here. <laughs> yeah, it's really it's really hard. It's considering you have to do the movements correctly, the re-grabs, and then you have to be able to figure out the angle and where the or predict where the disc is going because of the bouncing around. It's not an easy thing to do, and Eclipse are definitely one of the best at it, and they're even struggling here at this match. It's, the disc is still being dislodged. You can see one player sitting very far back. Palador is not here. He's playing that anchor role for them, so they can always pass it back out towards him, and he'll be able to pick it back up again. And now he's just stalling for time again, trying to force the defenders to him, and once that happens, once he draws in a couple of players he's gonna let his other two teammates go on attack you, know, you can actually see the members of any plus ultra yeah, they're doing the strat yeah they're well, literally just gonna just they're just gonna pass <laughs> until the game is over well rather than chasing the disc they're actually trying to position themselves in a point where they could perhaps feasibly catch it but i don't think it's gonna happen eclipse are just too good at being able to send these passes over to each other so I think it's important. Okay, well, well I said that. Cursed I, I, I cursed it that time. It's important to practice this. I think that's why I kind of harp on a lot of other teams when they don't do this and they continue to try to score. Is you need to be able to play these situations out. You need to make the defenders mess up and be able to hit your passes. Because when you're playing against Eclipse, like they're gonna do it to you. And at the same rate, teams need to figure out a strategy to to stop that from happening. And most teams really can't. Once a team has a lead, when you get to the very higher echelons of you know, um, competitive Echo Arena, like teams will punish you constantly for falling behind early on. Yeah, there definitely is that kind of mind game aspect to it where you sort of have to make the uh, the opposition think you're going to do one thing and then do another thing so that they're obviously not prepared for the play that you do end up making. All right, here we go. Brennan C still going to be able to pick up the disc. And again, they have to be aggressive. They have to go for something. 40 seconds left, it looks like. 
He's just going to actually run it through. I don't know. The quarterback doesn't typically often score off the bat, but he's going to have an opportunity. Gets the pass wide again, a little bit high. And look at that. Immediately going to be retrieved by Eclipse, or at least be chased around as the player who does pick it up is going to be Ender. But the time's been wasted. The, the score is done. The deed's finished. He might score two points here, but it's what's just a scratch. In, what's up? I said, what's four points to 70? Exactly. And just 23 seconds left to go. I don't think those 13 points are going to be apparating. Well, not with that attitude. Soldier, well, okay, Starting fine. You know what? These 13 15, points are going to be 14. so easy. They're going to they get, get away, it. shave your head? Free. No. Oh gosh, not man. shaving my head, no, Jason. It's no fun. <laughs> But Eclipse here, they actually have the joust advantage. So not only are they the best jousting team, but they actually have it in their advantage now. They've got 23 seconds left to go. They're probably not going to go for these shots, right? They're just going to do what you pointed out in the last round. Oh, like, oh, oh they it. could have. Could have. Oh, come on. Come on if it's unguarded, they could go for it. But, uh, you know, if it's going to get too messy, then it's probably not worth their while to be too clumsy with it. Only very few players in the world hit that shot, and Boop is one of them. And fortunately, Powder wasn't, but that's going to do the game. That's going to be Eclipse Tail taking the victory, going up 3-0 so far over the course of today's games. And NE Plus Ultra, unfortunately, going to drop down to 2-1. and 